YouTube, welcome back to the Blades to Be Shop and a little different video today. Today we're going to talk a little bit about what the next series of videos is going to look like. Pretty excited, just received the patent for my folding knife lock mechanism on uh, knives. And so now we're going to move into the namesake of Blades to Be and start talking a little bit about knives for the next few videos. Not sure I'll be getting one out every week, but I'm going to work through making some knives. I also have a new uh, Tormach 1100MX CNC machine on the way. That's going to get here in a couple months and that's going to help make some knives as well. So a lot of different things going on here in the Blades to Be shop. My lawyer's on his way here shortly and uh, he's going to bring over the suitable for framing. The, uh, the actual patent has finally come in the mail, so excited to get that here in the next hour or so. And uh, just going to take a moment, share a little bit about the knife, and then again, this series of videos coming up, going to go step by step into exactly what's in this knife, what the patent is all about, and how to go about making one. So I currently have two different designs with the prototype. I've got one sort of this cleaver. These are pretty popular right now, so I made one in this cleaver shaped design and also made one in a little bit more traditional uh, harpoon style blade shape but another handle configuration. So those are the two prototypes that I have right now. It is a front flipper with a locking mechanism so nice front flip to release that and pull back on there to lock it. So just releases and then just a little bit of friction there to pull that in. So the next series of videos we'll spend some time, we'll take the cover off and like I say we'll go into the details of what actually makes this lock mechanism work. Today's video, sure a little bit of bragging, pretty excited about the patent. Wanted to take a moment to share that. We'll share some pictures of uh, what a patent looks like and after my uh, lawyer brings that by, drops it off, hey I'll share just a little bit about the patent process and what that has looked like over the last year and that's going to be today's video. Look for more machining, more videos coming up on exactly how to make that knife. Stay tuned and let's check this patent out a little more. How's this for service? Well I got a letter for you uh, that I can email you later today and there's the patent underneath it. Dang! All right. Got a little detective sleeve. Oh man, it comes in the whole book, everything. Yeah, yeah, real nice. Well, there we have it. Now I am the proud owner of patent number 10,981,283. Comes in a fancy booklet from the patent office. All printed out, shows everything in there. So for this week's video, I just want to take a minute and go through a little bit about the patent process and what that looked like since I know when I was trying to explore it, look into it. I sure couldn't find anything out there. If you want to learn more about the actual details of this knife design and this patent and exactly how to make a knife, hit subscribe on the channel, ring the bell. Those are going to be videos coming out in the future. Over the next few months, I'll be putting out the videos on how to make one. And as I said, uh, I'll get into a little of the details, but going to be setting up a Tormach machine to be able to make some of the parts that I can't make with my manual machines here. So so that's what's going to be coming up. You want to know when those are coming? Like I say, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and we'll do that. For today, let's talk a little bit about the patent. First off, thank you to uh, Hilton Law. So that was uh, Zach Hilton. You saw the pictures of my attorney here, and he's the one who helped me put this uh, patent application all together. So big shout out to Zach Hilton for doing that at Hilton Law. Appreciate all his guidance through this but a little bit about the overall patent process. So about a year ago, so it was last July is when I woke up at about two in the morning, just as you hear for all inventions. And I woke up and kind of sat up in bed. My wife woke up when I sat up and she's like, what's going on? And I said, hey, I just invented a new lock mechanism for a knife and we're gonna be gazillionaires. Uh, well, here I am a year later, and uh, I do now own a patent, but I am far from being a gazillionaire yet. So I'm not sure that uh, that, that is going to happen. Uh, but I did go through the journey of, you know, I started out with my design and first I made a, just a proof of concept. 
Let me actually pull that out. So first I made just a proof of concept design. So this is what I was able to figure out how to draw up in Fusion right away was just boxes and rectangles and put some dimensions on that. So that was my first design of a knife. Still a front flipper, still flips out and does that. Uh, you know, still has a, a full complete blade on it and everything. So it functions and figured out that, hey, the lock mechanism works. And like I say, it just gives enough friction there it holds. Nice closure, locks closed, front flip out. So I proved that the design worked with this one. And uh, once I figured out that the design did actually work, then I started to pursue the patent route. Uh, did a little bit of reading on it, talked to some folks on forums, and tell you what, you want to get down a rabbit hole, and I'm not here to justify one way or the other. Uh, I chose to go the route of getting a patent for this, but there are a lot of people that you know, would recommend against that. It's not worth it. How are you going to end up defending it? Uh, it's a lot of money to put out to get the patent. But at my age, I mean, I've paid for a trade to go to machinist school. I paid for a college degree. I thought, you know, hey, what the heck? I can pay for a patent. And, uh, you know, I went into it up front knowing that that piece of paper, this fancy booklet right here, this may be all that I end up getting for the money that I have invested. So I went into it fully knowing that. And hey, now I can claim that I own a patent. So um, at this point, I got the cool factor out of it and that's it. And I got my money's worth. Um, yeah, sure, I would love to make money on this patent in the future, but I'm not sure uh, exactly how that's gonna work. So just go into it, eyes wide open, make sure you understand what you are investing in or not. But let me continue down the journey. So I invested in the patent, I started down that process, and then there's lots of decision points along the way of how much money you wanna spend. Uh, I did decide to expedite it. Um, I ended up contacting a couple of knife companies and I was having negotiations with one knife company and I thought, you know what, if this ends up going somewhere, I would like to have the patent finalized. So uh, it was worth it, I paid the fee to expedite it. That's how I ended up with a patent in less than a year. So I had the idea in July of last year and here we are April 20th and of uh, the following year and the patent is already complete and issued and in place. So was it worth the expedited fee? Yeah, I'm no longer having negotiations with that knife company. It didn't end up going anywhere. So yeah, hard to say. At this point though, again, I went into it eyes wide open uh, knowing what I might get in my return for that. So it was worth it to me. Now I have a patent. Uh, I've had since then, I've had conversations with another knife company. Those also uh, turned out they didn't go anywhere. So I'm on to my third one right now. Um, they only do reviews once a quarter, so it may be a few months before I hear back if they are interested in the design. So with that, I'm now uh, you know, almost a year into this journey. I've had a couple of knife companies turn me down and say no. So I don't wanna become a huge knife company on my own. That was never the intent when I set out to do this, but I do wanna be able to produce more than you know, 10 or 15 of these a year. So that is where right now in my journey, I have decided that in order to be able to produce a little bit more, and I wanna move from these you know, aluminum scales, I wanna move into titanium. And uh, right now I can take you know, all this aluminum, I can grind all these shapes and all these contours on my belt grinder. I don't want to be doing all that grinding with titanium due to the, the fire hazard and the sparks that can ignite. So I have made the decision to get into a CNC machine to work on my handle scales and to be able to produce a few more of these each year. So that's where I am in the journey right now. The patent part of it is complete and I have no issues now. Once I do produce enough knives, I'm not gonna have any issues with selling those. Uh, I know that I own the patent side of it. So we'll take this exploration a little bit further into a CNC machine and into a Tormach, uh, get that set up, still do some manual milling for some of the parts because I still have to learn Fusion 360 efficiently enough that I can program the mill. So be doing a lot of a mixture of some manual machining, what I'm comfortable with, and at getting into the, uh, the CNC machining for the parts that I can't. So it should be a fun journey, and I hope you'll come along with it with me, and we'll see where this goes to, and we'll see how, the, uh, see how it grows. I think I'm still six to eight months out from really having enough product to sell, so uh, you know, I'm not here trying to sell you on a knife at the moment, just sell you on the journey of how to build them and what that may look like as we explore Fusion 360, explore the CNC world, and just explore taking this design to another level. Uh, I will say that inside the knife, there's a couple of small parts that uh, on this prototype, I did make them by hand. So on this very, very first proof of concept, I made all the pieces by hand. 
But there's a couple of parts, pretty small, not that much fun to make. So I have outsourced and I already have a place that has made a couple of those small parts for me. And that helps quite a bit, but the, the blade, the handle scales, the majority of the pieces we're going to make right here in the Blades to Be shop. And that's what's going to be coming up on some future videos. So appreciate you spending some time learning a little bit about my patent journey. Uh, hopefully if you're about to go down the patent road yourself, maybe gave you a little bit of insight into what to expect, what can happen out there. And ultimately, it's just what you want to spend and what you ultimately want to come out with. So for me, it was fun to be able to say I own a patent, was worth it. I've done that part of it, and now I'm ready to get into trying to produce a few more knives and get some of those done. So I'm really excited to get into the CNC side of this and uh, learn Fusion, learn this Tormach machine. Been watching lots of YouTube videos myself on how to run them, and uh, some great folks out there putting out some good content all around. CNC and you know the titans of CNC group are right here in Texas and they put out a lot of videos and some free learning on how to use it so I'm going to tap into that and tap into uh, that wealth of knowledge out there to be able to get my machine up and running and looking forward to it I think it's going to be a lot of fun so that's going to be it for this video again just a short one talk a little bit about the patent process hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching as always and I look forward to uh, having you join me on this path as we go through producing this knife and setting up a new machine. Should be exciting. Stay tuned. Until then, I hope you're out in your own shop working on some of your own projects, and I look forward to seeing you back here in the Blades to Be shop soon. Until then, take care.